How are you two doing today? Great. I'm doing great. Excellent Good. and getting better. So please, let's 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 go introductions first. So please each introduce yourselves to the audience. Okay, <laughs> I am Michael. And I am Margaret. And we are the Childresses. Welcome, uh, Michael and Margaret, to the Goldstone uh, interviews. Um, really, it's a really pleasure to have you guys on. I was really excited about this one. Um, so let's jump into your guys' background a little bit. So where are you guys from originally, and where did you guys grow up? You want to start? Sure. I was born and raised in Chicago, Chicago's west side. Um, I moved out uh, to the western suburbs. Um, mm -hmm. What was that? Uh, 88, 1988, and have been here since. Um, I was previously employed by an electronics manufacturer. Mm -hmm. I've been retired now since 2016. And you know, life is great right now. Um, the NAACP consumes mm -hmm. much of my life. <laughs> um, and that's about it. Great. Great. And you, Michael? Oh, well, same. I was born on the west side of Chicago and um, moved to Maywood when we were eight. Mm. Uh, proud graduate of Proviso East. We were a pirate. <laughs> and uh, the, right now, um, previously, I was in manufacturing, mm. manufacturing training, um, then had a career change and moved into customer service, spent 20 years there. And decided I had enough and uh, retired and uh, decided I was going to run for uh, office. You can't keep complaining about things if you're not ready to step out there. So I ran the first time. I This is actually my second run. The first mm -hmm. run was with uh, uh, the Bloomingdale Park District mm -hmm. and won that. And then I decided <laughs> to run for the DuPage County Board. Wow. And actually, am the first African American ever to sit on the county board. Wow! I've uh, been in DuPage County f over forty years, um, and uh, I think it's the greatest place to live. <laughs> Congratulations on winning, by the way. Thank you. That is awesome. I tell people all the time right now. I do. I'm, I'm combining NAACP work. Yeah. With the county board together. Yeah. And literally, I'm living my best life right that now. That is amazing. That is amazing. So at this point, I always talk about background, where you guys are from. But and then I go into retirement. But you guys have the most unique retirement I've ever heard. So tell me what retirement looks like now for you guys, you know, now that you guys are in public service, too. You know what I mean? Because yes. it's, cause most people, they don't even think about doing something like that. You know, you guys are, you know, very unique in, in you know, like you said, Margaret. It takes up all your time now, right? So to speak on that a little bit. What's the uniqueness of your retirement? Well, <clears throat> growing up for me, and I, and I think I can speak for Margaret too, we've, you come from humble beginnings. Yes. And we've always been politically inclined. We, you know, we started off as, as, as kids, but we, as soon as we turned 18, started voting, mm -hmm. never missed an election. Um, she's an election judge right now, too, in oh, addition wow. to, to uh, That's uh, the NAACP. She um, literally just finished up a major election just two days ago. Uh, and, and all of that, I don't even get involved in that madness <laughs> of uh, all the people coming in and voting and where's my ballot yeah. and all of that kind of thing. Um, my, my goal is to make sure that everybody gets out to vote. Yeah. You know, I, I really don't at some point care who you vote for yeah. as long as you vote. Yeah. You know, that's yep. our voice and that's our, our um, ability to to change, make changes in our government. If mm -hmm. if you don't, then, you know, then you don't have a say so. You don't right. have, we really don't even have a right to complain. Right. But that's, that's kind of where we are. I go all the way back to uh, the South Africa movement, free in South Africa and yes. Mandela. And, yeah. In fact, I actually had the pleasure of seeing him at one of our family reunions. We stayed at the J.W. Marriott mm -hmm. in Washington. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and his first trip into um, uh, America, yeah. we were, there was a, um, the stand where he was going to speak 
was right across the street from the hotel. I walked wow. out of the hotel and walked over there and wow. was walking Got around right there. Got to see him right first so. time in the U.S. Wow. Yeah. So it was, what an honor. It was amazing. Yeah. Especially going back as, as a kid. Yeah. You know, um, writing letters and, yeah. and, and marching to, to, to free the people of South Africa. Yeah. And history was happening. And then yeah. you get to see it. Mm -hmm. wow. And, you know, when it's happening full, you know, real time, you don't think about no, the historic no. uh, yeah. significance. Just like when I decided to run for the county board, yeah. I didn't think of the historic significance. I just wanted to win. You, right, right, <laughs> right, right. And right. then after I got there and, and won, you know, I got a lot of congratulations. And we had the inaugural. Yeah. And the place was really packed. And, and I still am a bit overwhelmed with the response when I got to stand and get sworn right. in um, from the reaction, the entire room erupted. So wow. uh, that's when I really thought about the historical significance of that. Wow. That is quite a story. Thank you for sharing that. Mm -hmm. um, so switching gears a little bit, we're going to come back to your job and your position and all that. And, okay. Um, but how long have you guys been clients of Goldstone? I know we talked about this a little bit before, but now that we're on the show. Um, we're just shy of 10 years. 10 years. Mm -hmm. wow. We're going to have to do something special when you guys hit 10 years. I'll tell Justin. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, it was. Uh, um, I think I moved after we we came to one of the events and I moved money out of. Uh, accounts that I had for 1Ks, that kind of thing, yeah. and because it just felt right. And I think a couple of months after that, Margaret moved monies over to Goldstone, and we've been we've been happy clients ever since. I mean, I'm glad to hear that. When I when when I think about the fact that we weren't treated as clients or numbers or whatever, mm -hmm. but we got we got treated and accepted into Goldstone as as people members we just felt that you guys were looking out for us and it was the recommendations is, is not like us. we didn't feel like okay here's the dow jones here's the s and p <laughs> yeah. and and you're making money have a nice day yeah see you in a year see you in a, year, a couple of years <laughs> exactly. uh, yeah yeah you know it, it the, for me yeah the recommendations that came came with a why. Yeah. You know, this is why we're doing this. We ac we actually just made some changes uh, just uh, week. a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Last week. And the uh, recommendations was, was spot on. That's why wow. it was... Uh, we, we, we have a lot of trust in what you guys are doing here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and, as I shared with yes. you uh, earlier, uh, there was just something about um, Anthony... Mm -hmm. I first saw him on television right, yeah. uh, during one of his um, his tapings, mm -hmm. and I sat there. I was mesmerized, and um, after that, I told Mike, "You know, we we've got to make an appointment to see them." And I mean, I, I've just it, it, I just feel like family. Um, my total trust is in you guys. Um, and I, I'm comfortable, I'm relaxed, you know, there's no tension. Yeah. Um, so uh, the Holy Spirit will let me know. And <laughs> Amen. he did, Amen. you know, that's yep. where you need to go. Yeah. So that's where here, here we are. Yeah. And we rely on that whole process of, um, even to this day, you know, 10 years ago to this day of, we want to build relationships with you guys. And if, if we feel like or you feel like not comfortable or whatever you know whatever it is you know we don't want to start that relationship mm -hmm. then it's not a relationship you know what i mean and it's forced and so thank you for saying that you know and um i believe the same thing you know that we'll be led by the lord you know mm -hmm. in that and it's uh, like we said just a little earlier it's we get we know the whole family now. We know your, your grandmother, yeah. you know, so we know we know the wives. I mean, yeah, it's, it's been a family event yeah. for, for us all the way through. That's that's so wonderful to say. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'll I'm even so, get a plug in for your for your father, too. He's a really good guy. Too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We don't want to leave him out, Mike. 
Um, so walking into specifics of um, being clients of Goldstone, what were your expectations go- going into a financial firm, like analytically, or what, what were you guys kind of expecting? And then were your expectations met? And how does that kind of look like? Because you said you were mesmerized by Anthony and, you know, and he's very informational, but he's very personal. And so on like the information side, what were you guys kind of looking for? And then what did you guys kind of receive meeting? And, uh, you know, 10 years ago to last week, switching, you know, mm-hmm. things. What You know, what does that kind of look like? I think for me, it was um, like you said, he, he's, he's extremely personable, but the professionalism of the entire staff mm-hmm. was was impressive. And and then not only that, by him being personable, he still gave the information in a way that we could digest it okay. on our level. Yeah. Um, I didn't know anything about annuities or any of that. You, <laughs> yes, sir. You know, but, sure. but the fact that he sat down and explained it, you know, it was one was in, in, in an informational session, but then we made the appointment to come mm-hmm. over in the office and kind of broke everything down to us and what we could expect and and how many years it would take yeah. uh, to to mature. Show you and, the whole thing, mm-hmm. not just yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. And then the two different tracks we we he put us on yeah. and, and why they re- why you guys made that recommendation. Yeah. It was all it was all really an education for us that they don't teach in school. They don't teach financial no. literacy. And they, and, and no. that's one of the things that we at the NAACP is committed to is to try to take this information that, that we have gotten and and give that back to our communities yeah. because they just don't teach it. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And it's so important because you're in school for so long, but you live for so long. Exactly. You know what I mean? And then it's like, your prime years to learn aren't utilized properly. I mean, they are and they aren't. You know what I mean? It's like they they teach you a lot of things that are helpful, but then it's like financial literacy. You're gonna be using that exactly your well, you entire think, life. What's a what's a W two? What's a W four? What's a you know? What, that's the simple stuff. And then you get into investing. It's like oh my right, goodness. When you think about reading, writing, and arithmetic, it's gonna take you so far. But right, the next level is now that yep. you're out of school. You got from 18 to retirement to make all your money. Yep. And what do you do with it? Yep. And if you don't know what to do with it, you know, you could be in could be in big trouble yeah. <laughs> at a certain age. So, big trouble. Uh, yeah. we, we, we're we glad we came here. Good. I'm glad. Thank you for saying in that. In addition, yes. um, we come in uh, two to three times a year mm. uh, or we're on the phone yep. with our advisor. Um, and, you know, he just breaks things down for us um, every two to three times a year. <laughs> <laughs> so I like that, 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 that personal connection. Good. Thank you. Thank you for saying I, that. As a matter of fact, the one yeah. recommendation that I remember <clears throat> that Justin and I really hit it off on was why I should take money out of my 401k and where to put it. Oh yeah, and and yep. that was that was really key. That uh, uh, take the money, you know, because you, yeah, you're gonna do your four hundred one k, and it's like he said, let let your company match it. But once it gets to be at a certain maturity level, yes. you can pull it, send it to Goldstone, and have them do what what it is the magic that you guys work <laughs> behind the scenes, and and it's been yeah. all it's been good. Thank you. Yeah, and, and some people get a little nervous when we say that, you know, mm-hmm. hey, let's pull it from your 401k, let's roll it over. And they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Mm-hmm. We, we, we set, you know, our company set this up for a reason, you know, it's like they did, but now, you know, this is that education. It's like exactly. you need to roll it over and to a better strategy for the position that you're in now mm-hmm. is different than when you first started. You know what I mean? Right. So. Well, one of the things is, is, you know, coming out of sports, if there's a playbook, you can't go out and invent your own plays. No, <laughs> right. Follow what right. the coach there you go. says. Yeah. You know, follow what the coach says. Yeah. And and generally those are the, the ones that follow the playbook and, and the way it works. Yep. They generally are the winners. Yep. And and like at halftime, where they sometimes if they had a good halftime or a good first half, mm-hmm. and then in the halftime they watch plays from the 
you know, the two quarters before mm-hmm. to make adjustments. It's Absolutely. like, that's sometimes what we do here is like, you know, you, you did a really good job here, but let's win the second half of the game. Let's roll it over. Let's do this. And it's like, hold on. And it's like, you can't do the same thing you always did if you want to win in that second half. And that know? was the adjustments we made last week. Yeah. So. Yeah. Good word. So before we switch back to, um, cause I want to talk about fin- financial education, um, retirement. What's something, tell me something fun that you guys like to do in retirement. I know you guys are very busy and you work, but what's something together or what you guys do to enjoy your retirement? Anything fun that you guys do together, or traditions or anything? Who, who's retired? Yeah, I know. I, <laughs> I know we use the word retirement. <laughs> or what's something uh, at this point now that you guys do um, that is fun or um, traveling or anything? or Well, we... We went down to uh, Florida to see our son uh, okay. over the holidays, but to be honest, I'm a I'm a news political junkie. Yeah, yeah. but so I watch the news a lot. But for me, I just enjoy being around people. I, yes. I enjoy meeting yeah. people. Yeah. So yeah, I'm in retirement, but this <laughs> I, like I say, I'm living my best life because Good. I'm I'm meeting someone every day. Yeah. And someone that can significantly change my life. You know, if I was sitting in retirement at home on a couch, mm-hmm. there's so many people just like a, a, an Anthony or a Justin or uh, a mayor or uh, yep. I got honored by one of the congressmen on the, in the well of Congress uh, wow. a couple of weeks ago. So had I not gotten out to meet these people, yeah. None of these things would have happened. So um, I just enjoy being around people. People. All right. Well, that's what I was looking for. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yes, sir. Margaret, anything to add? I'm going to have to get with my my girlfriends and we're going to have to travel because (laughs) all he wants to do is work. (laughs) Work. Yeah. Yep. But I told her she should. You should. You should. I'm saying it's with him. You should. You see, see, well, yeah. (laughs) She's like, I'm I'm out. Okay, good. And okay, so switching gears a little bit. So. Financial education, educating the public. Mm-hmm. Um, so how do you go about doing that most effectively? Educating the public on finances, personal wealth, and voting, you know, getting out of their comfort zone in that, you know, because people are comfortable. And, right. And what does that look like? I think that you have to have um, a vision, a bigger, wider vision of the entire thing called life. Yes. Um, you have to have um, diverse interests. Yes. Because I meet so many people. We talk about many different topics. We yeah. don't just talk about politics. We may talk about finance. And and, and if somebody has has uh, issues with their finances, mm-hmm. I might bring up Goldstone, for sure. example. <laughs> And in fact, yeah. uh, that was one of the things we did was when we got involved with Goldstone, my brother's wife passed away and he mm. had to do some. He got a lump sum of money and he didn't know what oh, to yeah. do with it. Yeah. Guess where we sent him. Yeah. Right, sent <laughs> him Goldstone. <laughs> so and now yeah. he's talking about having I think his son may be with you guys, too. So wow. so wow. it's it, it's it's. Uh, it's an educational process, but it's not. You should do this. You should do that. Yep. Go and talk to them. Yeah. And and if it's for you, it's for you. If yeah. it's not, it's not. And yeah. then we see the results. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The positive results. Absolutely. So when we, how do we? How does that look? I don't really know. It just comes up in the in the conversation. Mm-hmm. Um, before and this was when I first got out of college, I sold insurance. Yes. And again, it was a situation where people don't like to think about things like that, but that's part and parcel yes. to generational wealth, financial uh, stability, um, not having to do a GoFundMe page when, right. when something tragic it happens, happens yeah. um, that it's all taken care of and that uh, uh, no one wants to think about that inevitable day. No. But one thing we know for certain is Father Time is undefeated. Yeah. So yeah. at some point, yeah. we're all gonna gonna meet that day. The question becomes, 
did you get with right people mm. before that day came? And did you get the proper education? Yeah. Because your cousin that's in the same situation as you are is not the guy to go to for financial advice. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. so yeah. get with the right people and and follow the playbook and that kind of thing. Well, that's that's what I tell people. Yeah, follow. All the time. Yeah. And, 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 and like a Goldstone, you know, this is the place I know the best, helps create a plan. Mm-hmm. Create that playbook, yeah. you know, to to see the future and Absolutely. feel comfortable about it, you know, you know uncomfortable and, and, with the comfortability. And you know? again, you can, they can give you the playbook. And if you want to go out and start drawing your own plays, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you could yeah. be in trouble, yep. you know, yep. and, and want to know what happened, you yep. know, 10 years from now. Yeah. 10 years ago, you know, we didn't have, um, we didn't have all the answers, but we followed the recommendations and again we had the comfort level that it was being uh, handled properly the two to three time consultation a year that we come in for um, the professionalism of everybody um, it, it, it uh, and we turn we, we tune in to the to the program too on Sunday morning mm-hmm. so um, just in case we want to get that little nugget we we just have that comfort level so I'm glad to hear that. I'm so glad to hear that. Um, so what is the advice, like if you could sum it up um, to the audience that's listening mm-hmm. um, that you just said, if you could sum it up and say, this is what I would do, um, what's your advice? Do you want to go first or do you want me to go? You, you go ahead. I have to think on that one. All right. Okay. Um, get with professional people that know what they're doing and – Listen, it's it, it's not money is always going to be a very personal thing. You yeah. put a lot of time and sweat and all of that into your finances. So I get why people are nervous mm-hmm. about how their money is being handled. So you have to develop for yourself the comfort level with the people you're working. One hundred percent. And once you have that, do your research. You, you know, again, it's, it's you know, that comfort level is going to come from doing the research. That comfort yeah. level is going to be uh, the interaction. But, again, people do business with people they like. Yeah, 100%. And, and, and yes. see how you're treated. And, again, I've gotten to know you know, your family. All completely. of us. <laughs> All of us. <laughs> All the way from grandmother down <laughs> to the kid. So um, it's, it's, it's really been a good ride for us. And, and again, that comfort level just there. Be comfortable with what you're doing and educate yourself. On, yes. It's your money. So educate yeah. yourself and ask yourself, does this make sense to do? And I think every time we walk out of here, whatever you, the recommendation has been, it made sense to us. It's great. Great advice. Well, <laughs> again, you have to listen to uh, your heart. Yeah. Um, listen to your mind. As my husband said, make sure you do the research. Um, converse with your advisors um, because you can, you can get a feel. Um, oh, this guy is full of it or, you know, I'm really comfortable with yeah. this. Um. <clears throat> That that's about it. Um, True still, story. I'll jump in. Um, oh, another thing I wanted to say is, um, it's like when we have a question. For instance, when there's something that happens in mm. the market, and we're right on the phone with our advisor. Yeah. Okay, what does this As you mean should. to us? Yeah. And uh, you know, we get an answer, and you know, things turn out okay. So we, like I said, developed a. a um, an area of comfort where we reside yes. with Goldstone. I was going to say, true story, we invested some money with somebody. I don't remember who, but oh. we never heard back from the guy again. Uh-oh. And we lost money every single year. Uh-oh. It was not like, had we taken that money and brought it here, yeah. we, we'd probably be a lot further ahead than we are. But again, it was more along the lines, understand what the commission is. Now we know what a fiduciary is yep. and uh, yep. Yep. how they're responsible for the client versus themselves yes. and, 
And and again, that's all part and parcel to educating yourself on financial literacy. I totally agree. And my, my dad says a lot that we're, you know, when, when he's with the team, he, he just makes it so clear that we are not a, we are an investment firm and, and fiduciary, we do our fiduciary responsibilities, but we're a customer service firm. Like, you know, we're open all week and, you know, Justin's always available to you. Get, you know that, you know, mm-hmm. and we have a cell phone. Right. Exactly. Right. You have his number. It's, all, it's pinned down. at the top. Right. Exactly. I'm like, it's pinned at the top. And uh, right. Because we're to serve you guys, you know, and mm-hmm. it's not. Uh, all right. Well, you guys are doing fine. I don't need to call them or you know what I mean? It's like it's just I've seen that in so many firms and and uh, we just moved, you know, from the beginning away from that. We did not want that right. reputation. And one of the nice things, even beyond that, again, I'm talking to Justin because we have youth uh, councils and, and uh, um, we have youth advisors with the NAACP and and he didn't even hesitate. I asked Justin, I says, I know a kid that's uh, uh, coming up. He's really interested in, in being a financial planner. Yeah. And he a uh, straight A student. And Justin said, bring him in. We'll, we'll be more than happy to to mentor him and let him do some some shadowing here. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. Because uh, I know he's going to be going on to college and, uh, you know, he could be sitting in one of these offices one day. So, Absolutely. So we appreciate that, that uh, giving back to the communities, too. And I, I started the same way. I know I'm family and things like that, but um, you had to earn your way up. Right. I'd love to meet with him and train him and things. I know, right? <laughs> well, even the, even the yeah. other thing, and I'll throw that in, too, is the fact that when when we started— and and we had a comfort level and yeah. things were going well, but right away, you know, we just ask. Um, and we asked Goldstone about coming to our NACP gala. Yeah, brought a table, brought the, the, the office with you guys, and it was just uh, you guys had a great time. I had a great time. Uh, you know, started introducing members of the NAACP. So. Yeah. Um, this has been a good relationship That's all the awesome. way around. You guys are community oriented, but I can just see. But we know the whole family, so we know yeah. how how you guys uh, think and operate as a family. So we're, you, we're real pleased. Thank you. And so the last question I wanted to know was, how did you two meet? I always like to ask this. <laughs> how did you guys two meet? At, at work. work. At work. Mm-hmm. All right, so tell me a little bit about that. How did no, that? I can't go into that right now. <laughs> I, was, um, <laughs> I was right out of college, got hired at Motorola, and uh, she was already there. So she had years before me there. I don't know how many years, but she had years before I'm me. Not telling. And, <laughs> and, That's okay. Uh, you don't have to. <laughs> um, as things go, the funny thing is, you know, I was eyeing her up. <laughs> but she didn't like me at all. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I was, uh, she told me, I thought you were the, the arrogant college kid that came in, oh. you know, come in as a supervisor. So she didn't like me at all. But <laughs> eventually, you know, I just kept uh, hanging around, hanging yeah, yeah. around, hanging around. And finally, uh, I guess I kind of warmed up to her. So. Is that true? Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. I love it. I love it. Uh, so, Michael, is there anything um, you would like to say to the audience, uh, promote anything or let anybody know anything that's coming up? Well, and, uh, we do have our – every year we have uh, Sid Finley Scholarship. It's our Freedom Fund Gala. Yes. And the money that we get, we gain, we give it back to the community as far as scholarships. That's awesome. Because we know – that our future is going to depend on the youth that come up now. You know, uh, I like to tell people, since I'm planning to live to be 100. Yes, sir. I'm pretty much in the third quarter right now. But so at some point, Father Time's undefeated. But if I could go back, you know, from 100 years from now to talk to my grandkids unborn, Mm -hmm. I would recommend the same thing the same path we made a lot of financial errors because we did trial and error but i would have my my kids unborn to be in here to get educated on financial literacy it's it's, awesome. it's thank you so it's much it's just yeah. amazing that how their lives could be changed if they if they follow the plan yeah. um 
So we're, 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 we're really pleased. But that's the one thing. Our Freedom Fund Gala gives out scholarships to our youth. And um, the fact that, again, Goldstone is helping uh, um, with our Freedom Fund Galas and, and, and giving back to the community and also um, uh, going to mentor some of our students. Yep. Um, it, it's, it's, it couldn't be better for me. Wonderful. Wonderful. So, yeah, everybody, uh, there will be a link um, to donate to the to the gala. And, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for coming on. Oh, it was a pleasure to have you guys. Um, I look forward to future conversations, Michael, um, okay. educating everybody and on financials and Bring everything. Back. Um, also, we're talking about having a financial literacy um, yes. uh, training in uh, August. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. Um, we will definitely be calling, and and hopefully you'll put on uh, the the. It, it's not even hopefully. I know you'll put on the the same type of training and education that that you guys are known for. Thank Justin's you. Yes. Already, so. Justin's already committed. So everyone, look forward to that. Um, I'll be shooting some videos and possibly shooting videos with Michael, um, promoting that educational event. So thank you, thank you guys. Thank You're you. Welcome.